So we're going to drill some holes in the concrete today through some timber, and we've got a rotary hammer drill. Don't, don't start it up yet, Jez. Let's have a look at this drill. It's a bigger than your, your normal hammer drill, but this is actually a rotary hammer drill. This is what you're going to need if you're going to drill any holes in the concrete. Let's have a look at the drill bits over here. And you see the drill bits, they're masonry drill bits, but they've got a funny attachment on the end which actually lock into the drill. And with these drills, you don't need to put any weight on them, they'll just drill the hole themselves. You just got to hold them straight and, and they'll just drill themselves. So, away you go, Jerry. Don't try and drill in the concrete with a normal hammer drill. And this one's just a cheap, cheap brand one because the uh, thousand dollar one got knocked off out of the back of the truck the other night. And this one's like an eighty dollar one down at Bunnings. So you don't need to go out and buy a nine hundred dollar drill. Well, they do vary in price. But this is a must if you want to build a house and you want to drill holes in the concrete. We'll do one more, Jerry. Show me how easy it was. Fifty dollar, forty nine. There you go. Bolts there, Jerry. Just how they do tighten it and expand. Just put it up in there. Yeah. Just crank that screw up. Just sort of that nut up so we can see just how it actually do work. So it cleans, opens up as the nut pulls down on the bolt. And it just grabs it to the concrete. So that's how the dyno bolt works. And when you when you go to put put the dyno bolt into the hole for the first time, you just tighten that nut up just so it's just snug. It's not tight. It's just it's just got a nice. It's just starting out. Thanks, Jerry. Gently just tap it in. Yeah, keep going, Jerry. That one's not going to work, but tap it in anyway. Show what happens if it doesn't you can't quite go in the hole. Line up the hole. It, it just yeah. That's it. You can't get them out. You have to cut them off the angle grinder. 
They're a bit different to a true bolt where you can unscrew. Alright, you got it out. Yeah, normally they don't come out, but cut them off an angle grinder. Damage the end of it. Yeah, so that's what happens when they don't line up with the hole. You can see what a mess it makes. Okay, so that's the rotary hammer drill.